Alright, we're gonna go over what Jade is. So, this is a Jade tutorial. Jade. Alright, this is Jade. Um, this is how you install it. You go npm install Jade tac tac global. So, you type it in here. I'm not gonna do it, so, yeah, I'm just gonna talk about it. Um, so, we're gonna play with it, not this one. Like for example, that's gonna be no, doc type. Ah, uh, give me one second. Let me open it up. There you go. So it's gonna be like doc type. You gotta be very careful with Jade. This thing breaks. Like, breaks. So, the indent. Oh, I broke. What the heck? Broke. Jeez. Title. Oh, I shouldn't do that. Title. You get the the title and then do space. You go. Hello world. Um. Why would you use Jade? Jade is basically um, used for Node.js, Express, which are the backends, and then Mongo. So it's a bean stack. So it's this is the database, Express, uh, AngularJS, which is like the front end, and Node.js. I have Angular somewhere. I, wait, did I do a tutorial on this? Yeah, I have an Angular app somewhere. Doesn't matter. So this is the backend. This is the database. Express is like a uh, framework, templating framework, like zero account framework. And Angular is like front end. So this is all backend. Node, Express, Mongo, backend, and then Angular will be front end. So yeah. So this is how you install the unique gulp, the mean stack. So we're just gonna go over Jade for now. So first we doc to HTML, see the HTML split spits out. Um what else I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do some bootstrap. Give me a second. Bootstrap. WP schools. For example, um we're gonna create a container. So container Jumbo, Tron. So basically, all you do is it nests like it's like way less work. It nests everything, so you can put a p tag and go hi, and then they'll be hi. And then for this is more complicated. But yeah, you can do the reverse. So, for example, you can copy and paste like some HTML, and no, we can go backwards. So, HTML to the side. Bam, you have your um, Jade over here. So much easier. But with Jade, you can do like extends. So we're gonna look at my script right now. So it's a static. There's like partials, and then we're gonna look at the layout. So basically, you include. So this is an include file. It's like similar to um, PHP with their include. So it's in partial that head that jade. So this would be the head. So it'll grab this into this, spit it out, and then it'll grab the nav of this. The thing about jade, it breaks very easily. So for example. Mess things up like put it right here. So it works. Breaks really easily. Like to spit out something it would be like sorry about that. I'm too tired right now. Um, too tired right now. No. No. Some of that. I would be like post. It would be like hello, stored in some variable somewhere. 
So I'm grabbing everything through a JSON. So JSON. So I'm grabbing all my data through a JSON. This will deprecate um, XML. XML is it's closing tags. So yeah. The thing is it's very sensitive, like Jade. Jade will just break automatically. So I'm gonna do a quick express scaffold for you guys. So we're gonna scaffold express. I'm gonna go in here. CDD CDD C Copy and paste. I'll use right click and then I'll delete all this. Sorry. Uh, oops. CD. Change directory. Right click. Bam, you're in this. We're going to use these commands. Um, the first command to scaffold is uh, npm install express generator. I already have that installed. Never mind. Actually, I want to try insert car. I have it installed. npm install express generator tech cheats global. Press enter. I already have it installed, so I'm not doing it. And next, I'm going to create an app express app. It's being created and a populator right here. Related. Next, we're gonna CD into app, change directory to app. We're gonna npm install. Npm install is basically grabbing all the packages in the JSON. So, we go look at the JSON. Close. Close this. JSON is like uh, another kind of storage thing, it's like a database. You can think about it as a database. So, these are all the apps that requires it. So we can use start, or you can use node, blah blah blah, that's not the app, but you can use start. So you can go npm start. Bam. So it's going to be localhost. Bam. So this is your first uh, app scaffold. Um, let's see what we can do this. Right click, open folder, views, index, see, you have the title, title, and then we're going to do another key, hello world, that works, yeah, hello world, see, bam, we can make a bold, that's what I'm not really interested in that. That's okay. So, yeah. Um, I'll show you what I, an app I've been working on myself. So, I did this in. See, this is the server. So, Express and Node are like servers. So, I'm serving these um, HTML documents. And it took like 4 seconds to load. Let's control C out. Yes, CDD, CDD, so CD Express LS, CD Express, and then we're gonna no demon app slash JS. Oh, my app's broken. What the heck? App's broken. Let me find the directory. It's broken. Sorry.
Oh wait. I don't I know I know. I know. Did it wrong. So yeah. This is the thing I'm about to make. It's sticky. So it's very I'll show you, I'll show how easy it is to break, so it's like so easy to break. It's like really scary. Um, I have to install the. Slash here. Take a break. This one. This one's post. Hmm. You might. That's weird. Alright, I don't think that. I don't. I want to do this again. Um. So yeah, this is Express. And then this is how you create a link. And then that's how you create a body. Press input. So it's like way less work. So you have a link here. Let me find what the heck. What's this? And then uh, there's something new from this. So, for example, we're gonna new file, whatever. We're gonna HTML. HTML. Angular, so whatever. Bam. Um, for example, we're gonna do like a bootstrap btn dot btn dot primary. So BTN is the button. Okay, so it's gonna be BTN dot BTN dot BTN default and then there you go. You have a button. So you can also do that for ID so it'd be div ID hello geez. oh well ID you only have one but for classes you can chain them so I found that very useful let's do this again um get crazy we have bars on nav nav bar our default and inside of nav bar we're gonna have a div container fluid see I don't see a point to learn this unless you're like working with a mean stack so that's my thing about it it does make Things faster if you're really good at this, then you can create really fast pages. But it's really easy to break. Like you can have like a, a random spit out object like text. 
this up. Post. So he's like broken already. And I'll spit this out. Hey, it's broken. What the heck? And then your page won't load. It's gonna be broken because it has to compile. So basically, it has to translate this into um, HTML. And then, yeah. I'm sorry, this tutorial sucks. I'm not really sleepy, but like, yeah. The whole point is doing mean. So it'll be. Yeah, I recently did it. So this will be like back end. This is the database. Express is like the framework. Multi page. Angular, like the buttons and stuff. And then node is just server. Server, like serving files and stuff. Like HTML, CSS, videos. So the only reason why you would do this mean stack, because it's in real time. You can make apps that do real time like chat, you know, face to face video, phone calls, stuff like that. But like for like um, LAMP, they can't do that yet, so that's why everyone is jumping to the main stack. And and all these things got built onto it, like all these different libraries like Jade, Express, all this stuff. So yeah. He's like Pretty cool. Like, see this thing moves. Cool, it moves. So, uh, so, yeah, I'm gonna leave um some links to books under here to learn more about Node.js, Express, and Jade. But for Jade, it's pretty easy. It's still HTML. You just look at the documentation and go, okay, what's this do? So you can do like a simple JavaScript case thing. See, for example, like the variable is friends equals ten. So if friends when friends equals zero, then you have no friends. If friends equals one, you have friends. The default is you have this many friends, you have ten friends. So you store ten friends. And then yeah. So this is like really oops cheesy JavaScript. I don't have an API. Yeah, it's, I just npm install Jade. You don't have it globally. So, yeah. And I'm done. So, it's hard as total sucked, but you can just use like the HTML2 Jade to make your own Jade. Just copy and paste it in, and you're good to go. Done deal. It's way easier. And you don't have to host your own uh, library to do this. And CDNs are elsewhere, anyways, but you can host it yourself if you want. So, yeah, until next time.